What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video and today we're here with my wife's 2021 Toyota Prius. Now before you click away because it's a Prius, bear with me here for just a little bit because today we are going to be installing Tesla Autopilot on this Toyota Prius for just one dollar. And you may be wondering how the heck are you going to be adding Autopilot to a Toyota for a dollar and it's right here. Now you're probably a little disappointed that it's me instead of my wife. So if you wanna see her, you're gonna to have to click up here and watch our launch control videos with the TRX. But, but wait to do that till after we take this thing out and add our Tesla autopilot. So let's jump in the car, let's get out on the road and let me show you what we're gonna to do today. All right guys, so we are now out in the 2021 Toyota Prius 20th anniversary edition and like most cars this has the lane keep assist or the lane steer assist that a lot of new vehicles have in their safety features. Now the wife's previous Prius and yes she's had more than one was a 2016 Prius and it also had the lane feature but it would just notify you if you were going over the lane and chime at you and let you know that you were driving not very well. There are some other vehicles that will correct the steering wheel. If you get close to the edge of the lane, it will last minute correct, correct, but you end up kind of ping-ponging back and forth between the lane, between the lines, and looking like a drunk driver, and that's no good. But when she got this 2021 Toyota Prius, I noticed that it will basically drive the car straight down the road, perfectly centered in the lane. Which got me thinking, man, this would be super convenient on a long road trip or something if it could drive itself for some of the way. But when you have the cruise control set and you don't have your hands on the steering wheel, you only get about 10 seconds worth of driving before it notices that you haven't put any steering input in. It'll go ahead, chime at you, and let you know to hold the wheel. And if you don't do it long enough, it will just turn the system back off. But our 99 cent Tesla Autopilot feature, our bottle, weighs very similar to my hand. So if our bottle could be our hand on the steering wheel, I wonder if it will just happily let the car drive down the road. Now, of course, this is definitely a closed test track that we're on. There's no, you know, people, cars around. So we're definitely safe to do this. So definitely do not do this yourself. That would be dangerous. You know, Toyota wouldn't want you to do it. And of course I wouldn't want you to do it, but this is in the name of science and um, experimenting. So that's why we're out here on this closed course and going to try it out. One thing about the Toyota though that I've noticed is you do need really nice solid lines for it to see. Here on the side streets without a really nice painted line, it kind of doesn't see it as well and will again turn itself off. So we're gonna jump on the highway, we're gonna set our cruise and I'll let you guys see how it does when the system notices that you don't have your hands on the wheel. And then we'll also see what it does with the uh, Tesla Autopilot installed. So we're gonna accelerate up to speed, set our cruise control, and again, it is now steering the car, and I'm gonna keep my hands off the wheel for about 10 seconds until we get that notification yelling at us saying, hey, you're not driving the car, place your hands on the wheel, and we already have the warning, and if you ignore it long enough, it will go ahead and come up and say, the system is disabled, and it has given up completely on steering the car because it knows you're not holding the wheel. But the second you get your hands back on the wheel, it notices that you're driving. So, in the name of science and um, not doing unsafe things, we're gonna install our Tesla Autopilot and see what happens. 
and and just like that we've got our autopilot installed and uh again we need to wait our 10 seconds and see what happens yeah yeah it's uh it's it's been 10 seconds now and it's it's still going so the weight of the bottle is enough for the vehicle to think that you've got your hand on the wheel and it is now happy but again don't don't do this yourself don't you know i'm a trained Prius test driver. This is in the name of science on a closed course. Just, just don't do this. But I thought it would be interesting to try. So we're gonna see how it does because currently the adaptive cruise control is maintaining our speed and distance and the lane steer assist is, um, is steering us. So we're in a Prius and uh, they kind of get good gas mileage. So this, this could go on for a long time. Now I don't know what the police would think of this if they drove by and saw you driving along with little hand on the wheel would they notice would they wonder why there's a mountain dew bottle sticking out of your steering wheel i'm not sure all these are questions that we will still have to answer but today we were just doing the test or experiment to see how the one dollar tesla autopilot system works because there are some aftermarket software devices that you can buy to install that will basically make the car work like autopilot but me being a bargain prius owner the one dollar autopilot system seems to be the better buy and honestly it would be kind of interesting to play with on a long highway road trip now of course I, i'm not saying i will but theoretically on a long highway drive you could have your autopilot installed you still need to be paying attention obviously because even with a tesla in autopilot it wants you to keep attention keep your hands at ready keep your feet ready so if need be you can jump in and obviously take control of the vehicle but it would be kind of interesting on a long trip to uh implement your autopilot in your prius so we're going to jump off the highway here jump back on now obviously it's not going to steer for you you're gonna have to do that yourself since it is not the real genuine Tesla autopilot and we're playing with the knockoff version here so you are gonna have to steer for your turns but once we get back onto the highway we'll put the cruise back on and make sure it works in the other direction now one thing I have noticed at least with the Toyota is it is pretty susceptible to shadows if there's a whole bunch of shadowing on the ground it's not going to see the lines as well and going to turn itself off even with your autopilot installed so you're gonna need to be mindful of that but the rest of the time when it has a clear view of the road it works almost too well so guys hopefully you stuck around this long even though it was a Toyota Prius video but I thought it was interesting that the system can be fooled or tricked this easily into working almost perfectly good as autopilot at least on a straight highway obviously we can't do turns with it but it seems to work outrageously well so guys as always thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time yeah yeah it's uh it's it's still going and uh i've still got like 500 miles of range left so we may uh may be at it for a while yeah so you know when you're in an awkward situation you don't know what to do with your hands it's it's kind of like that now what do you what do you do with your hands you just hold them do you i i don't know what to do with my hands Guy, guys on second thought i'm not sure that i like this i apparently i like driving more than i like riding because i'm i'm kind of getting bored here yeah i it's it's still going and uh, it doesn't seem to stop i'm I'm getting thirsty, so I guess I'm just gonna have to. I, you gotta choose whether you want to drink or autopilot. It's, it's, it's a thing, but I, I gotta do it. Thanks again.